Do y'all care about the combine? I like to watch it. Yeah. The way, yeah. Are there fans there this year? Uh, I, I think, think there's fans. There's fans there this year, and the the scouts have already proclaimed like this needs to be a closed event. They're removing. I think they moved some woman from the stands. They removed her because she was being too loud. And it's like this is not a fan friendly <laughs> event at all. Like they're yeah, studying. But, yeah. It's like showing up to an ACT <laughs> prep course and the, pre gaming it. Isn't the I mean, I guess the consensus, or not the consensus, but the, the, the feel and the growing feel among coaches is like they don't really care about the combine anymore. Like, Sean McVay's on a yacht. He's right. not even going yeah. to the combine. You have a couple other coaches who aren't going to the combine who don't really care about it. Like, they don't really get a true evaluation of your players because they're, this is, I mean, it's, it's like it's equivalent to baseball as like a showcase. You know, like right. there's showcases in baseball, right? You're, you have showcase players and you have gamers. Mm-hmm. Showcase players are, hey, this guy looks good hitting batting practice. This guy throws hard. He can run fast. But you put him in a game, and nothing, he can't do anything. See, Same thing with the combine. Like, you see these guys. Like, some guy is going to go, like, some of these guys last night, yesterday yeah. he ran 4.2-something 40s. Well, that yeah. guy, like, it's certain players in the combine that, like, the tape matches their production on the grass whenever they're in sh- shorts and shirt. Yeah, like for sure. Chris Olave, the guy who ran yeah, 4 for 2 sure, 6 for sure. State, but like, And the guy from Baylor. The guy from Baylor was their wide receiver one this season. Right. Like, he had that. 60 catches, 900 yards, and 10 touchdowns this season. Yeah. So, the tape matches the, the production on the on the field. Like, it's everything matches, but, like, for some guys, like, the combine, like, McVay is not even at the combine. But it's important because you have guys who've been hurt, so you got to get the medical. Like that's the big deal. No, with the I agree. I, I think that I think there there is some benefit to it, but I think as far as like the on field stuff, like yeah, oh, we're gonna watch these quarterbacks throw like throwing against air. If you stink in, against air, then you don't you deserve to play. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to be there to see you stink. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, and I don't have to be there to see you. Like I can watch it on tape. But I don't yeah, have to actually. All these, and all these guys apparently like the the way that the combine is set up. These athletes, like, it's not set it's up not for the set athlete. Up for it's hard. You have to wake up super early. You're there all day. And so a lot of these guys don't want to do the combine. They'd rather do their pro day instead. And, you know, I, and I, don't, I don't disagree with them. I don't fault them for that. You know, I think there is some benefit. I think some guys go to the combine and get an opportunity to get drafted because they do show something, maybe to a smaller school mm-hmm. or something, something like that. But as far as, like, like, I just see too many teams get burned by drafting a guy because they saw him run really well on – the turf, like they saw him, really won really well at the combine. He for, performed well. He had all these good numbers. Like, damn, this guy, you know, maybe we missed something on film. And they draft him. They give him all this money. Like, well, no, you didn't. Like, you saw what the film was like. Like, it didn't match up. Now you have the guys that look really good on film. Hey, let's see what this guy really does, and they matches up, and uh, you get the Chris Olaves, mm-hmm. and you get, you know, the the, the Davian Clownies, and all these mm-hmm. freaks. But the guys that back into like some money, I just, I don't know. I don't, did y'all see Malik? Willis Malik Willis throw the football though. Well, that's now, what the combine is that, for. But I know, but like that guy's. <laughs> but like Zika, that's though. that's what like that his tape matches like the arm strength shows. Yeah, but people on knew tape. that. I right. did. I didn't know that. Like I think it was for as a fan, as a fan of like football, I didn't know Malik yeah, Willis juice. had that much juice yeah. in his arm. I knew he. I knew he was fine <laughs> up draft boards. He was at Liberty. I knew he had, he was a good talent. He was a great talent. He's probably gonna be a first round pick. But what? <laughs> liberty, 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 liberty. Oh. <laughs> Maybe get a sponsorship. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you just got a sponsorship for Liberty. I don't know liberty. what they do, but I do. Yeah, liberty Mutual. Yeah. I don't need that. 